Welcome back to Top 10 Discoveries Official. I'm James. Today, let's explore China's $137 billion mega project, the world's largest hydroelectric dam, located in the Himalayas. Imagine a colossal dam, a monstrous electricity generating machine capable of producing over 300 billion kilowatt hours of electricity per year. That's enough power to sustain the entire nation of France for three years? But what's even more astonishing is that this dam won't be built on flat, favorable terrain. Instead, it will rise in the midst of one of the most treacherous, extreme, and earthquake-prone regions on the planet. This is China's bold ambition, a $137 billion mega hydropower project nestled within the majestic Himalayas. The Tibetan Plateau, often called the Roof of the World, is home to towering mountain ranges and deep perilous gorges. And right here, China is planning to construct an unprecedented dam on an unimaginable scale. This super dam will boast a capacity of 60 gigawatts making it three times more powerful than the Three Gorges Dam, currently the world's largest hydroelectric facility. The sheer amount of electricity it will generate will be enough to power over 200 million people, equivalent to the entire population of Brazil. Do you wonder why China wants to build this dam? The truth is, China needs an enormous amount of energy, not just for development, but also to maintain its status as a global superpower. To put things into perspective, China's annual electricity consumption is twice that of the United States and eight times that of Russia. The problem is that most of this electricity comes from coal, the most polluting fossil fuel on the planet. Currently, over 60% of China's electricity still relies on coal, and each year, the country emits more than 10 billion tons of CO2, accounting for nearly one-third of global emissions. China is not just aiming to reduce pollution, it has an even greater ambition, to dominate the clean energy of the future. The 21st century is not only a race for technology, but also a race for energy. The nation that controls a vast, stable, and sustainable energy supply will control the global economy. And China is pursuing this goal by shifting toward renewable energy sources, solar power, wind power, tidal power, and most notably, hydropower. Since the 1950s, China has built over 98,000 dams, more than any other country in the world. Among them is the Three Gorges Dam, a mega project capable of generating over 100 billion kilowatt hours of electricity annually, enough to power tens of millions of households. But now the domestic rivers have nearly reached their full exploitation potential. That's why China is setting its sights on an even bigger, bolder ambition, controlling international rivers those that flow from Chinese territory into other countries. Because whoever controls the water supply controls life, the economy, and energy for an entire region. It is no exaggeration to say that carrying out this project is like building a dam on the fire basin of the earth, as the land where this construction is located is anything but peaceful. It sits right in the middle of the Yarlung Changpo Gorge, one of the deepest gorges on the planet, plunging to a depth of 6,000 meters, far deeper than the Grand Canyon in the United States. But what's even more terrifying is that this area lies directly on the violent earthquake belt between India and Asia. Earthquakes stronger than 7.0 on the Richter scale occur frequently, with some tremors even exceeding the force of a nuclear explosion. Not only that, but the terrain is so treacherous that there are almost no roads leading into the area. 
This forces China to implement transportation solutions that are unprecedented in history. Trucks and trains cannot be used to transport materials. Instead, a massive cable car system stretching tens of kilometers will need to be built, capable of carrying thousands of tons of materials each day. In addition, a fleet of heavy lift transport helicopters will operate continuously to deliver equipment to the construction site. And that's not all. There may even be a need to construct an underground tunnel system solely to accommodate workers and machinery, cutting through some of the most rugged mountains on Earth. Regardless of the solutions applied, the risk of structural collapse due to unstable geology remains ever-present. A powerful earthquake could wipe out the entire project in the blink of an eye. Building a mega dam on the Yarlung Shangpo River requires not only cutting edge technology, but also an enormous financial investment. This project is expected to cost over $100 billion, a staggering amount even for a powerhouse like China. For comparison, the Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydropower project, cost only about $31 billion. That means this mega dam will require more than three times the investment of the Three Gorges. With $100 billion, China could easily acquire Tesla in its entirety or build a smart city from scratch. So why are they still determined to pursue this project? The answer lies in the future of the world. China is aiming for something far greater, to provide clean energy for humanity, reduce dependence on coal-fired power, cut carbon emissions, and take a crucial step toward a greener, more sustainable world. In reality, China has made a decision of cosmic proportions. There are two possible approaches to conquering the mighty Yarlung Changpo River. The first option is to build a series of cascading dams along the gorge. This is a simpler, less expensive solution that could be implemented quickly. However, the cost of this approach is far too high. It would submerge part of Tibet's ecosystem, alter the river's natural flow, and severely impact both the environment and the lives of millions of people in the region. Thus, a second option was proposed, drilling a tunnel up to 50 kilometers long through the mountains, diverting water from a higher elevation to a lower one to generate electricity. This approach is significantly more challenging, requiring the world's most advanced tunneling technology, an enormous budget, and an extended construction timeline. However, in return, it would preserve Tibet's ecosystem and maintain the natural flow of the Yarlung Shangpo River. Eight, the future of the Yarlung Shangpo Megadam, a revolution or a risk. Although China possesses the financial resources and cutting edge technology, to construct the Yarlung Changpo Megadam, have you ever wondered, what is the true cost? This is not just a massive energy project. It is a high stakes gamble with both opportunities and risks. Despite widespread controversy, China remains steadfast in its ambitions, asserting that the Yarlung Changpo Dam will adhere to strict environmental standards while providing sustainable economic benefits for the region. This mega dam is not only a landmark in global hydropower development, but also a double-edged sword with the potential to reshape both the political and environmental landscape. Can China balance economic gains with environmental preservation and regional stability? Will this project be a groundbreaking energy revolution or an ecological disaster beyond imagination? Above all, we can only hope that the world's largest dam project will transform the region for the better and contribute to a more sustainable future. So what are your thoughts on this multi-billion dollar mega dam? Share your opinions in the comments below and don't forget to follow for the latest updates.